Hey, hello everyone. Namaste. I'm Jonah Thora. And I'm Sunflower Thora. And, and we're, we're the, the Thoras. Thoras. And, and this, this is the Lunar, Lunar Cycle Show. Coming to you on a brand new new moon. That's right. What fun. What fun. And now that we've completed our first full cycle of the Lunar Cycle Show, we're switching things up. So today's video is gonna be a tad bit different mm -hmm. than the others. We've made a pact with ourselves about it uh, because of this new moon where we're gonna start actually recording our videos a lot earlier than we have been. And we have learned a lot in the last uh, lunar month in yeah. terms of how to do this awesome show. And we're really excited to keep doing it. Yeah. Keeping it fresh, keeping it different. You've seen a whole other angle of uh, our abode. And uh, today, as we're thinking about our intentions for this new moon, mm -hmm. we want to share with you all what this whole manifestation cycle is about. That's right. So let's get to it. Oh, we got a whiteboard ready. Here we go. Woo! Hello, here we have our beautiful whiteboard. We love our whiteboards. Let's talk about manifesting with the moon. So where do we start? Well, we start, of course, at the new moon. So the new moon is all about new beginnings, a fresh start, a blank page. Um, it is time to set our intentions for what we want to achieve during this lunar cycle. So take some time to reflect on yourself on what really calls to you this month. A little later in the video, we're gonna talk about what this new moon means and that can help you decide how to best harness the power of this new moon. We then go to this next phase where we then start to honor the intentions, hopes, and start to figure out how we're gonna manifest that. As we move into our first quarter moon, we um, really start to approach our first kinds of crises and obstacles, the challenges that come up with um, setting an intention and trying to bring it to manifestation. So the first quarter is all about addressing those crises and those obstacles and making some decisions about the challenges and taking some action as needed. Afterwards, we get to the adjustment refine and edit because we've now seen all of the issues involved, well, there's a lot of the issues involved, the main ones, and we start trying to work it out so we can actually manifest this. The full moon is all about trying to manifest, finally, to bring our intentions and manifestation. And how we do that is we identify, kind of like we did in the first quarter moon, what obstacles are present, and we set an intention using the power of the full moon to remove those obstacles. And so this is really when the whole intention we set at the new moon becomes signed and sealed and stamped. Intention, good to go. Afterwards, we get to the point where we have begun the manifestation process, we're grad and, and we get into a more uh, feminine as opposed to masculine state where we are now in a passive state of gratitude, sharing, and enthusiasm. Then we have the last quarter moon, and like the first quarter moon, this is uh, one about crisis. But instead of being necessarily obstacles, it's a crisis of consciousness. So what internally, not externally, do we need to figure out to let go or to keep? What's working for us? What isn't? It's a chance to make a decision um, about how to truly, fully bring your intention to life. And finally, we surrender and rest and recuperate after the entire cycle right onto the next new moon where we finally set a new intention again. Time to talk about this new moon as we promised. So this new moon is in the sign of Cancer. Cancer is a water sign. And so this new moon is deeply connected to our emotions. Water um, flows just like our emotions do. And so you might be feeling a little emotional right now. And as you are setting intentions for this cycle, um, think about how you can best take care of your emotional self, your emotional body. What do you need to do to harness the power of your emotions in a positive and uplifting way? Um, how can that help you create the kinds of goals that you have for yourself? this month and to bring those into reality all right that's our show for today it's a little short one that that's because we're going to one heck of a fun festival right after this Woo! thank yeah. you everybody and that is the fifth episode of lunar cycle show stay tuned as we continue this incredible adventure into the future see you soon